Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. Okay. So I don't see any other missions, but I want to go. train the train is going to go either this way or this way so I will wait here if this train goes this way let me check which way is going this way I think it's going to go this way Train has reached here. Come on, man. Wait, let me determine where the train is going to go. So, this train is going to go to Benedict Point.
See how fast they killed me? Let's go. It was right here around here somewhere.
You should run off home! Let's see what you got. I don't want to die. I don't want to. Let's 
Eso no me la hace la voz a mi pelo bien. Doing me the first one. Then I forgot the same one. Was not close. He was a little bit far, and that's how I missed Here. that mission. Hope you guys learn oh, from my mistakes and don't do what I did.
cannot thank you enough, sir. How many times have you seen Solomon's Poly complete? <laughs> Some of the money for payment. I'm gonna have to Okay, there is a bounty. Let's do this bounty. Harlan Forbes. Goody. Forty alive, twenty dead. Well, I'm always after items of quality. Come on. A fine transaction. That's a fine deal. I will buy this. Later. Uh, yeah, Thank I'm you. Back. That's perfect. I'm back this later. Now stay safe. I can't bring him alive because.
think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Mister. Good evening, sir. Thank you kindly. <laughs>
<laughs> that was a nice movie. Yeah. Maybe there is another mission at this bombing of Berlin's Ranch. Let's go there. What the f fuck? I really missed the first two shots. Let's make this quick. She asked for help, but I don't know what happened then. She was afraid of me or something like that. Hello, sir. 
between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. How much time it is? Okay, I can do this. Let's just rest here then. Oh, night patrolling. Let's do this night patrolling. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. Up with the dog, the dog is slow. <laughs> is it always that place that? Maybe some different area for that. I don't know. Oh, 
Rest here. So many outfits. टाइम को कैसे पास करते हैं ओके लेट्स गो टू Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Uh, I said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. 
kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Whoa oh. there! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. There. Are they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Whoa. How are you, Miss McFarland? Let's go. See there are three missions now. This was Marshall Johnston, Nigel West Dickens, and Bonnie McFarlane. So we'll start with any of those in the next one.
So standing on the hand, see some nice picture back. Oh, I have to save the game. I have to go back to the snakes. I guess it's in the end. We call them to end. Okay. Bye. 